What's up beautiful people, welcome back to another reaction video. Like the title says, in this one we're gonna be reacting to TWICE's Cry For Me dance practice and as much as I know of, they released two dance practices, two choreography videos, um, one of them being like a standing shot where the camera doesn't move and the second one is I think a moving shot. So I decided to use the standing one just to really see the big picture and not like lose the formations and everything. So we're gonna be reacting to Twice As Cry For Me choreography number one video. This song is my favorite Twice song from 2020. I can tell you that much already because it's, it's so good. It was definitely an early Christmas present that Twice gave us right there, like so unexpected and so freaking good. From the choreography, I only of course saw the mama performance which I react to which you guys can find on my patreon page for free if you guys are interested and um, where I re reacted to basically the premiere of the song and um, was blown away already there and the choreography looked pretty good too I didn't saw that much because you know of cuts and close-up shots and everything so really really curious on how it's gonna look like all together so I think without further ado we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in into this reaction. Ooh, all in white. It's just the eight of them, right? Yeah. Okay. Can't wait to see again the full ninth, ninth, ninth performance or full nine member performance. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 those lights, sharp, mm. the way this song emphasizes Mina's, my favorite move, I think, next to Nayeon's chorus part, but like what I wanted to say is how it emphasizes Mina's voice, this song. Bad boy, bad boy, really make me mad girl, mad girl, wow. Ooh, I see you, Sana, okay. I did the cry for me. Ooh, nice milking going on right there. Hey, that one is just, I feel it. I want you to, I want you to, I want you to cry. Sorry for my singing. Oh my god, I should. Okay, I'm not a singer. <laughs> Oof. That outfit on Sada, though. I didn't saw that in the performance. Hold up. Ooh, snappy again. Nice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Love again the formation like changes the way they split up with the groups doing like kind of subunits. But then the other ones that aren't the focus still have something to do. You know, they're just not standing on the side. So I really love that. I know that the, I think some of the choreography um, Kyle did from Royal Family and Royal Family is known for that to always use all the members I want you to I want you to I want you to cry for me hey ooh nice structures going on Oh, we back on the first position. Oh, detail. Okay. Small but detailed. Cry for me. Oh, ooh, ooh, hold up. Everyone did something different right there. That was dope. Again. Chuck him, shit, chuck him, shit, shit, shit. Oh, we got the circle of love going on. <laughs> I 
want you to, I want you to. Yo, those hair flips. Especially Sana and Chio. Yo, 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 yo. Hair choreography on its finest. Oh, yeah, right. And who is it again? Jaehyung drops down. The moment, the ending. But uh, yeah, there were some moments I didn't know of from the Mama performance. Like the groundwork that I think Mina, Momo and someone else did that I'm not so sure anymore who it was. I didn't know of that move. Also some of the structures, how they move and everything, because again, they, you know, do close-up shots and all that. So yeah, it, it was nice to see now all the movement and what everyone is doing. They had a lot of, especially the beginning, beautiful lines, really snappy into time stops a little bit or beautiful hands and structures that they did. The choreography was a lot of mixture of like milking and then going into a little bit of a snappier, a little bit of a whipping kind of move of, you know, emphasizing the, the sadness, the somberness a little bit of the song. But then also switching to like more pauses too in between of having just formations, beautiful formation, beautiful pictures or just weights in between, which were really beautiful where they could really just do some pose pose things and then again, you know, explode into the next move. There wasn't like really explosing movements in this, but it makes sense because like I said, the song, it is fast, you know, the, the tile track, the chorus is fast, but it still has that somberness from the lyrics behind it. Also the desperation when they are singing, like there's some kind of desperation in there. Like now I want you to cry for me, like, come on, I need to see that. So it fits that it's a lot more in that like kind of milking, whipping and kind of detailed poses kind of world, if you know what I mean. So really love that whole mashup right there so yeah i think without further ado let's just go ahead and jump right in into the dance analysis of twice as cry for me just already one thing that i just that just went through my mind is that i love that they are not dancing yet. I don't know. Sometimes I think they start off too fast with the dancing in songs. There are some choreographies that I am just blanking on right now. But I know there were some moments where I was like, hey, just let it sit in the beginning. Don't like start off already crazy formations. I love that in this one a lot. They really are waiting here for like at least 10 seconds and then have a little milk down, which really builds up the choreography to the song itself too. And then we go here into the formation changes that they do beautifully. Pa, pa, boom, ta, 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 boom, ta. Oh, they really emphasize the bass in this one. So really love that it's also really permanent, the bass in this part. Love also that the build up is again like beautiful hands, a little bit of a milking, not really peanut butter wise, more like a little bit lighter, a little bit kind of like Swan Lake Ballet esque a little bit right there. So really love that. And then they switch it around with that snap out and then waiting there, having real beautiful strong lines right there. Like the two ones that really stick out in this one for me is like Sana and Chewie. Like, look at that. Look how strong that is. Probably if you go to them and try to put it down, they really have a tension there, which is important to have that powerful like stance right there. And it comes off over the camera if you have it tensed your muscles or not. You know, there's a difference the way your arm is is extended and everything so really beautiful and then accenting that also kind of like how you call that echo of the of the drum right there i also love like the like going out first again snapping into that move 
and then falling in. I don't know if it's a time stop or if they're still moving and going down. No, it's a time stop. Ta! Boom! And here we have a bounce back, basically. Really beautiful hands, like goddamn. And then this time, a little bit more of a controlled bounce back. The first one was a lot more like loose, really similar to the song actually. And then the second one was a little bit controlled. There was a lot more tension in especially the core in that moment right there to give it a little bit of a more peanut buttery vibe than the first bounce back that they did. Boom, ta, boom, ta. Like that snap, but then giving it a little bit of time, giving it a little bit of a milking peanut butterish moment, and then going into that into that second bounce back right there. Ooh. Ooh. Again, a lot of small movements, like a lot of milking, waiting to then accent it with just hand gestures basically also that little flick that Nyon did fitted perfectly into that whole sequence like it's just so good it's really good and also how the three over there accent like the bass in her in her part like Nayeon and her group is more doing her vocal tone how she's singing they're more accenting those a little bit while three over there have that accent on the bass so really playing off of each other really using a lot of elements of the music Love that they're just not walking. I could watch that that part just as a little gif forever and ever and ever. Like, first of all, it reminds me so much of their move performance that they did a couple years back, which was really legendary already. There is also kind of... A little move right there and now them doing that again and Mina she's feeling that moment she really is feeling that moment right there hey, 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 hey. also like that's like really isolated to have that still move while you're mo doing something else like it's a little bit of an easier version of this one right here. Also what I wanted to finish, I think I said it already, but I'm not so sure. I really love that they're not just walking to their spot, but they're still having something to do and having kind of a presence and a motivation to move there and a way to move there, not just walking, if you know what I mean. So I like that a lot too. And we go. Ta -ta -ta. Let's go, by yes, right here. Take your heart, that boy, bad boy. Eee. Okay, before we go into into the chorus right here, really love that that whole structure, whole formation in Dion's part with some members going down and some up. I want to see how they move to that down. Hey, yeah, that like 3D effect of some members coming up, some down, those switches, so freaking cool. Like, that's so freaking cool. Oh my god. Yeah, you really make me mad, mad girl. That milk, Momo. And I think that was also the part where Sana catched my eye. Yeah, Momo and Sada, they are going in, they're giving their fool, they really are really going out there, big movements right there, like you can see that amazingly. But this time around, really Momo catch my eye. How she also goes back with her head, nice, nice detail right there. The only like explosive movement I think in the whole choreography that start up into the faster chorus but after that we got that milking motion coming up right here with really beautiful hand gesture again Cry for me. 
I, I think in this whole song, whole choreography, details are really important. How you're having your hand and how you're moving your hand. For example, this one having that little wave in there is really important to convey the right feeling, the right movement. Like I think it would look really off if you don't focus on your hands and your fingers. Like you can see them really beautiful stretched out all the time here too now, really beautiful out flexing it even so I think that's a really important detail in this whole choreography Cry for me. Hey. Ooh, with that tap of the foot hey 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 I want you to I want you to Yo, 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 I swear to God, Chewie's hair choreography is so beautiful. I want you to, I want you to. Like the way she can control her hair that good and it doesn't end up in her face, like not a single one. Like she knows how to work her, her hair and make it fly and giving that little accent to make it fly too. And then after that accent that you can see how they're going up to give it like an even extra accent, kinda. And then they're going down with a little bit of a slowed movement. Like it's still fast, but like it has kind of a milking motion to it. Really smooth how they go down. So I really love that section right here i want you to i want you to i want you to cry for me a little small little hit right there again bounce back which bounce back you can achieve by basically having the feeling as if you're like a gummy ball or something like that that like bounces all the time like already if you have that in mind your body automatically does the same thing tries to do the same thing you kind of let loose your body and then you go into that position that you want to have the bounce back and then you kind of catch yourself tense up your especially core muscles to then kind of yeah, you kind of catch yourself and then let it loose for a second and catch yourself again. So you just bounce two times. So there's still a tension there, but also a looseness in the right moments. Because if I wouldn't have that tension, I would look like a wobble head all the time because, you know, there's still a tension, uh, intention also, especially, which is really important in this choreography to have just a double bounce and not a lot more. Ooh. I think that was my worst description ever. Oof. There were two that made amazing kind of hit throughs with that move right there. But first, before that, the whole Jaehyung part, the whole switching around, really loved that again. How they're stretched out and now Girige giving their time, letting it sink in and really like putting their back to it. Like look at Momo's position, like that's perfection. Also her fingers, like there's kind of tension there, but not too much. So it doesn't look too like tensed and too like what the hell, but like there's the right tension and the right dreaminess behind there. Like damn. I love that switch, that little thing that they do right here. Again, small little movement. But then when they switch around and go into a little bit of a bigger movement, the effect is just so cool. Like it just also shows how with the right formation, it just looks amazing, little movement. Like I swear to God. Also again, her their hand postures, like I said, so important in this choreography. The hand postures, really, really beautiful. And then I think Momo and... Chiho are giving hit throughs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Momo Momo sticks out to me a lot because first of all she's the main dancer, so of course she's sticking out, but besides that, 
the little detail that she does that the other members aren't doing is kind of like a hit through. Like she kind of hits, but then like lets it move forward. And she gives that small little hit with her hips before she does the milking down both times, I think. Before she does the wave, she gives that little accent and it just catches your eye right away. Pa boom, boom. You see how she boom, boom, really gives an accent. It's nearly a hit through. I wouldn't say it's a hit right there, but like she really accents it. And Chiho too. But Chiho puts more weight onto the accent than the wave itself. Momo's wave is still as big as the accent, like it flows together nicely. Chiho is a little bit too strong with that accent, with that hit, so the wave kind of loses its momentum a little bit. Yeah, just slightly, just slightly, but yeah, Momo's execution in that one. <laughs> Boom, boom. Oh, Mina too, though. That was really nice too. But Momo is like, you just see in on the left someone basically exploding into that move on just the right amount. Bad boy, bad boy. Yeah, you really make me bad. Oh, sad girly, right. Oh my god. Boom, ta, ta, boom, ta, 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 ta boom, ta. Movement again, love it. How they're changing positions while dancing, really, really naturally, and no like effort. It is an effort, but like it doesn't look like there's effort behind her. Like they would do that when they wake up, basically. Me, ooh, ooh, okay, love that, love that. The choreography has really a lot of influence from ballet, just how they're holding themselves and how they use their arms and hands, especially how their finger position is a lot. It has a lot of influence from there. Also, of course, from all the like temporary-ish, modern and chassis stuff. They have a lot of that, especially with the body posture. Again, the hair flips. But then again, Sana gets it in her face a little bit, which I would too if I had long hair. But then Chui just doesn't. And Nayeon too. Like, t how? <laughs> like, she is amazing in that. And I want you to, I want you to. Like, you can see Nayeon, her flip is like really accented, really big to not get it into her hair, but Chui can like mask it really well. So that's a high level right there, man. Hair choreographies. Da. Details again. Uh, yeah. I want you to cry. Like how one single move can describe the whole feeling of a song, basically. It's just like small little head gestures, but the way they put the intention there, the carefulness to the detail in that moment, they knew exactly that that little movement is so important to have it, first of all, really synchronized and same, you know, level of hands, same way of how to have their fingers in that moment to make it that big basically like how that small move then looks that big because they just showed the care for that detail and really are basically executing it like it's a big move that's the best way I can describe it. Like they went on about that move as if it's like one of the bigger explosive moves that's not even a word Lorena but whatever like there's so much intention behind there I want you to cry love that switch up with the different that's so cool I think it's kind of like a ripple some are going you know 
doing that one and then some do something else and then I think it ripples forward with the rows that they're standing in. I want you to cry. And one, two, three, four. Yeah, similar to that. Hey. Let's go, God Shield. I want you to hair choreography like that of course ending it with a nice milking point and also like that ending with the die for me yo I was so surprised the first time around I was like that's creative as hell but also of course fitting as hell because the last ouch <laughs> the last line is die for me so it makes sense in that sense, but you know, you didn't expect it with the first watch. So uh, again, really want to emphasize how much care and detail went into details. Like it was the, the most reoccurring thing in this choreography, their hand movement, hand gestures, their fingers and everything. Also their body posture being really up and, and open and having kind of like an little bit of an arrogant stance a little bit which you have to have in you know ballet especially so that's why i went with the influence into ballet a little bit and uh yeah they freaking killed it it isn't as you know fast or or strong or powerful okay that's the wrong word when i'm being honest like powerful it is still even though it's so small and not actually fast but you know in the sense of being explosive and everything like for example more more or i can stop me was it is a lot more subtle but like i said just now still powerful because of that intention in there in their way of movement in their really care and intention in each single little thing so uh, yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this little reaction of twice as cry for me dance practice let me know down in the comments below what you guys thought of twice as cry for me i hope you guys have an amazing day be safe and don't forget to subscribe like and i'm gonna see you guys on the next one peace Drowning out our sorrows, holy water, lost at sea. Stacking all this water, I might cover the suburb.